There are well over 300 species of hummingbirds, all of them in the New World, mostly in the tropics. These flying jewels are so small and lightweight that you could mail nine or ten of them for the price of a stamp, if you could get them to hold still. They blaze by, halt in mid-flash, then take off again, stutter-stopping, 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 before they spurt out of sight. Our sluggish brains can only hobble along behind them. No other bird can stunt fly like a hummer. Not just forward, but backward, sideways, and upside down. They stand in midair and even twirl like a swizzle stick with a bird attached. Their secret is that their wings don't move up and down like those of other birds. Theirs move backward and forward, but not just back and forth. The wings trace figure eights, and the slightest variation in the arc of either one of the eights can vault the bird or plunge him, send him ricocheting off the air. And, oh, by the way, the wings whir between 70 and 200 times a second. Got your mind wrapped around all that? The reflexes of birds who live at that speed will cross your eyes. They use much of their speed in dueling. That beak can be a weapon, used like a shiv to stab a rival male in the throat in a fight over mates. And of course, both sexes squabble constantly over feeding territory. But dueling is only one use of those beaks. They're also good for catching insects on the wing. The hummer flies with his bill wide open, and when a bug flies inside, it snaps closed like a hair clip. That's how the hummingbirds get their protein. The rest of the diet is nectar, and they eat two or three times their body weight a day, the equivalent of you eating a fridge full of food. We used to think that the hummers suck nectar through their tongues like a straw. Not so. Their tongue is forked with rounded edges like a tube. When they open it inside a flower, tiny hairs curl around drops of nectar and the beak clamps shut. Then it opens and closes again 20 times a second. You can kind of see that the tongue is forked. Hummingbird brains are large, 4.2% of their body weight, compared to 2% of body weight for humans. And that large brain affords them remarkable memories, mostly for food. A hummer may not remember Aunt Millie's maiden name, but it can remember every flower it's visited, including the ones on its migration route. It knows how long it's been since it visited a particular bloom, and doesn't return to that blossom until the flower has had time to pump more nectar into it. That's pretty remarkable. I mean, I can't remember where I put the mustard half the time. In addition, the hummer recognizes the people who regularly fill feeders. So if more food is needed, he's likely to complain to the management in person. Hummingbirds have more feathers per square inch than any bird except penguins. Now, I get why penguins would need lots of feathers, but why these little creatures of warm climes would need so much plumage is a mystery. But they do, and if it's not as thick as the penguins' plumage is, the hummingbird's feathers certainly have more razzmatazz. Their gorgets scatter light like soap bubbles. What's more, they have sharp vision for appreciating all the nuances of their plumage and of the flowers they feed on. They see all the colors we do, plus ultraviolet light. The only part of hummingbirds that's pitiful is their feet. The hummers can barely walk on them because the feet have evolved not to weigh them down. But so what? Who needs to be able to run when you can flash through the air in five directions at once? <music> <music>